Hello, my name is Susan Irwin, and I'm uh, here at the PTC. I'm president of EuroConsult USA, which is a consulting firm based in, uh, we have our headquarters in Paris and offices in Montreal and uh, the U.S. office in Washington, D.C. And I'm delighted to be here to interview John Finney. John is the chief commercial officer for O3B, an innovative and interesting company that is uh, something I'm sure you'll want to hear about. John, uh, I've been following the developments of O3B for quite some time since I'm following the satellite industry, but I'm sure there are a lot of attendees here at PTC that are not familiar with O3B. Can you tell us just a, a little bit about it and also the derivation of the name? Sure. Well, let's start with the name. Okay. Uh, O3B stands for Other 3 Billion, and um, it, it's a reference to what we consider to be um, 3 billion of, of approximately 3 billion in population that, that are generally underserved by way of internet penetration. Um, if we look at the countries predominantly 45 degrees north to 45 degrees south of the equator, so essentially the, the a, a, a large belt around the equator, we tend to find a, a, a range of countries, um, emerging market countries, that are uh, constrained in terms of um, the opportunity to access the internet. And so uh, those are the markets that we, that we aim to serve. Um, the company's progress is, uh, is profound over the last two or three years. We've managed to raise a total of $1.4 billion, uh, initially $1.2 billion for the construction of the first eight satellites, which are well underway. And very recently, we took the decision to uh, raise uh, another $200 million uh, to, to build another four satellites to add the, uh, to, to bring the constellation to a total of 12 satellites. And that's largely due to the demand that we're experiencing right now for our system, uh, despite the fact that we're still a year away from the launch. Mm -hmm. um, the system is effectively designed to offer fiber-like connectivity where, where terrestrial infrastructure isn't present in the network. Uh, we offer latencies that are faster than long-haul fiber. We offer bandwidths that are four times that available from traditional satellites today. And effectively, we, we think of ourselves as distributors of the Internet. We're trying to make it more available um, to the people that need it the most. So O3B is, uh, as I understand it, a diamond sponsor of PTC. Why is the Pacific Telecommunications Conference an important event for your company? Um, several reasons. Firstly, the Pacific has all, always been um, an area of, of strong interest to O3B. We effectively designed our system around uh, some of the challenges that uh, the Pacific Islands face, particularly lack of access, which to us means if you have to uh, walk to the internet, then you really have a lack of access. The internet is, is meant to be in the palm of your hand or, or within arm's reach. And for many people in this region, um, most children have to wait until they go to school to share a, a computer rather than have uh, mobile broadband uh, delivered to them. And, and so there's a lack of ubiquity where internet distribution is concerned in the Pacific region. Um, secondly, uh, we're very close now to delivering services. We're just, just over a year away from uh, being able to provide uh, capacity services to our customers. So we've moved on from explaining what the capability of our system is, and we're now um, launching a new product to the Pacific markets, O3B Trunk. And uh, we're making that available, and we're starting to work with the Pacific Islanders over the next year so that they have the capacity reserved in time for our launch. Uh, you're, you're launching O3B Trunk. Typically, uh, trunking services are provided by fiber, if there's fiber in place, uh, or by the satellite networks that are in place and have been operating for many years. How can O3B uh, effectively compete with both other satellite systems and fiber? Well, there are pros and cons to both fiber and geosynchronous satellites. Um, our job is to provide choice to the Pacific Islanders. Certainly where fiber is concerned, um, although the bandwidth is almost infinite, um, the, uh, it really point-to-point -point 
uh, connectivity. So once you land a fiber optic cable to an island, it's very difficult to then go and provide the same level of connectivity to outlying islands, which is certainly one of the um, challenges that are faced in the Pacifics. And then when you move towards geosynchronous satellites, um, what we find there is very, very high latency, 600 milliseconds. It creates, uh, it degrades the quality of service for uh, the types of applications that run over the internet today. And what we're trying to do is to uh, introduce a new system to the Pacific Islands, which will uh, slash the cost of bandwidth, uh, offer four times the available bandwidth of geosynchronous satellites, and reduce the latency down to something which is faster than long haul fiber. Well, that's, that's pretty ambitious. Uh, in the minute or so that we have left, can you just tell me what's next for O3B? What are your next milestones? So firstly, with O3B Trunk, we start by uh, providing the raw connectivity to uh, the Pacific Islanders. Then we have a strategy to bring content close to our teleports, so we maximize the advantage of our latency. So if you think about... Um, uh, real-time uh, movie providers, voice over IP gateways. We're going to uh, provide low latency links and then augment that with a content distribution strategy. So there's some really exciting stuff coming down the pipe for O3B Trunk. Um, within a few months from now, you'll see O3B launch their mobile backhaul strategy, which will be followed uh, a few months later by uh, product launches in maritime, oil, gas, uh, and mining. Well, thank you, John, and good luck with your next steps and with getting O3B launched, and uh, good luck at the show. Thank you very much. Thanks.